On this episode of Natural Living Homestead, I'm going to show you how to do some solid set irrigation on the cheap. Well, I just about have the stock tank all filled up. The animals are going to love this. What? Whoa! I guess Levi loved it, didn't you? Hey guys, this is for the animals! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Is it cold? <laughs> oh, it's for the animal. You all three want to get in there together? Go for it. All three of you. <laughs> hey, right, everybody sit on your butts. Oh, everybody sit on your butts. <laughs> Have a seat. Have a seat. There you go. This is a redneck, redneck swimming pool. <laughs> okay, so doing this on the cheap here. What I have is I've got a one-inch pipe right here, and actually this pipe I think I found on the side of the road. So I don't have any cost at all into it. Um, you can use old basketball hoops, um, old clothesline poles, anything you find that you want to make use out of. Um, real simple. I didn't even go out to get the ladder. I've got a chair here. So I'm going to set this fairly close to my fence because what I want to do is I want to irrigate paddock three and I want to irrigate paddock four right here both. So, Novi, would you go ahead and hand me the chair? Okay, you want to hand me the driver? That's the same driver that I used for the T-post. Nobody wants you to hold on to this pole for just a second. Got it? That's pretty solid. Um, since I'm using a one inch pole, what I can do is use a inch and a quarter PVC, make sure it's got the bell on it, and it will slip right over the top of that. Like so. Just like that. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to trim this down because I'm not going to make it this tall. We're gonna go trim the PVC. We're gonna go trim the PVC. All right. Got it. Good, honey. That was quick. That was quick. So there's a lot of ways you could do this. All you gotta do is be creative and think about, you know, what's gonna be the most cost-effective way and more, most efficient way for you to do this. What I did is I laid out some sprinklers right here on the ground for you to see. All different types of sprinklers. Sprinklers you'd buy at your local farm store. Sprinklers you'd buy from an irrigation dealer. And since I've been in irrigation for a long time, I've got quite the collection of irrigation sprinklers. 
The way I'm going to do this one is I'm going to use just regular muffler type clamps. Slip these clamps down right over the top of this PVC. Okay, and what we're doing is we're going to make a bracket for the sprinkler and the hose. So, we've got two pieces of wire. I'm just going to run it down. Each clamp. So they're about centered. I take one clamp and go high. And yes, it'd be a lot easier if I had a nut driver. And I'll take the second clamp and I'll just go a little lower right here. What we're doing is we're creating, we're creating two spots for the hose and the sprinkler to be connected to. Now, so now the one I'm choosing is this Excel wobbler, wobbler. So I'm going to connect this to my hose that's going to sit on top and it'll waddle, waddle around or wobble around. All sorts of things you could use. You could use heating duct banding right here. You can use wire, use cable ties, use whatever you want. The idea is just doing it on the cheap and make it functional. No, B, would you go ahead and take this hose and pull this hose back this way? I'll tell you what it's not. There you go. Thank you. Now make sure you've got your gasket inside there. And you could use Teflon tape, but I'll tell you, the way these, these are designed, you really don't need it. These are designed to work without leaks. If you do have a leak at that point, then you can use the Teflon tape. So just make sure you get it good and tight. So at this point, now we're gonna connect this right here to the PVC. We got one up high just to hold the sprinkler in place. And we'll put one more down here to uh, hold the hose in place. Don't go too tight, you'll kink your hose. Oops, the foreman's here. Coming to make sure that we're doing uh, the job like we're supposed to. Your name is Mr. Timmy. Mr. Timmy. He doesn't like Are it. Are you checking it out? Checking out our work? So here we go. All we did is we took a piece of inch and a quarter PVC. We cut it down to be about five, six feet in height. And uh, wire tied, put some muffle clamps on there, and then wire tied the sprinkler to the top of that. So now we can set that on top of that one inch pole over there. We'll see how we easy this is. Be the honor? Yeah. Okay, got it. Well. It's 
on. It's on. All right. So now all we have to do is just wire tie it three or four times to make sure it stays straight down all the way to the bottom. And then we're good. Okay. Mother, you want to go ahead and turn the valve on and let's see it turn on? getting wet all the way out to here so it'll do that all the way around looks like I do have a little bit of a leak up there yeah now it's starting to get out further yeah it's going all the way to the edge yeah all the way to the edge so it's getting more than halfway across that paddock over there Let's go show them the other one. So we'll give you guys a quick look of how this sprinkler works. Yeah, I know it doesn't look the neatest, but there we go. Oh, it actually feels really good. Yeah, it does. It feels like standing out in the rain.